in time, remember? Did we? <laughs> yeah, after the bowl game. <laughs> oh, 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 no, we, we did. We did an episode. I mean, it was, it was, an, it was an episode, but it was not. A, it was not a good idea. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a drunk disaster. Time. We had a great time. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it was a good time. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. This is last call where we're bullshit and general fuckery. In indeed. <laughs> And if you're watching the, this on YouTube, then you just see us fighting over who gets to be in what position on the screen. <laughs> I, but we have, uh, it seems like we've settled on Tim on top. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, uh, Ryan and I are the yeah. bottoms. I'm not trying to give away your secrets or anything, Tim. I'm just, that's okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Actually, I'll take, I'll take, uh, I'll take, uh, the college huddle logo on me. So oh, I thought uh, you were going to say bottom, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You can be the little spoons. That's okay. Sometimes it's uh, nice to be a little spoon. Sometimes it is. Nice so, to be a little spoon. Ryan, let's talk about the Oregon player at Georgia State games. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That's right. kind of complicated. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. After, after having top and bottom talk, now we're talking about Oregon players. <laughs> Which Oregon <laughs> are we talking about? <laughs> no, tell me what you think, David. Should I we think have that was a cool one. idea? I, I thought it was a really cool idea that first season to have the the Braves yeah. organist, Georgia State alum, to come out and and uh, kind of keep that aspect of Turner Field alive. Yep. Uh, I just think that uh, it wasn't made a big enough deal of going into it, so that when it actually people got there and they heard it, they're like, "What the hell is this?" It was just um, poor execution on the uh, setup of the whole thing. So, I just don't know what you want them to do. Um, like what what is supposed to happen? Because we we all knew that that was happening. Uh, yeah, even, but we're super close. Even when it happened, like we we just asked a question, and people were like, "Oh, but it's this person," and blah blah blah. And that was we we're like, "Oh man, that's even cooler." But like, it's not a big leap to hear an organ player at what was a baseball field the the year before, and yeah. just be like, "Oh, they're just." like it's an homage it's that's cool that's neat oh the organ's still playing why it just landed <laughs> really funny because the people who go see football are like what the hell why is there organ music playing the, the music that i am supposed to listen to where's my and, rap music well so you got hip-hop in between but a lot of college it's band music it yeah. is well we actually insert a lot of hip-hop we i mean whatever. yeah we do well, so are we talking about the same organist that went at the TDS and played? Uh, the come on, team? Tim. Yes, but you don't have so, to slowly his good name. I mean, he already sullied it by going there. I know. They obviously paid him to go there. I mean, they had to have. Yeah, but he didn't have to say nice words <laughs> yeah. about it. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, only dumb students could, actually go to trash on South without being paid. Could he? I mean, would you have him play at our current baseball? Stadium. It's not a baseball stadium. Oh, yeah, I think, no, baseball, baseball field. Stadium. Baseball Panthers field. field. Oh, you mean Panthersville? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it would be weird. I mean, like, <laughs> do we have an organ? <laughs> no, we don't have an organ. But like, if you're going to put money that into that, that's probably not where you're going to do it. But the, no, um, if we, at the the new facility, fuck yeah, man, that'd be awesome. Like, we should have here that like you should do the first game. Oh yeah, for sure. Baseball facility when it gets oh, built. Yeah, yeah, and do the and how he does all the, the walk up songs for the players. Like he, he picks songs specifically for him and everything. Exactly. His Twitter account is kind of fun to follow because he'll like take requests. Like you know, hey, we have we have the you know the Diamondbacks coming to town. Give me some ideas for different players and stuff. And he'll he'll play stuff. I mean, he has fun with it. No I was, and it was really cool to have. I, I thought it was really neat. Um, yeah. It just didn't land very well during football season, and I just don't I, think it was because of lack of communication. I think it's because it was just weird as shit. Well, I will I still, say that yeah. the train horn has been a fantastic replacement. Oh, for yeah, for sure. Like, <laughs> at, at all of its volumes. Every volume they've tried has been great. It cannot be too loud. The train horn <laughs> cannot be too loud. Uh, it, you know what? It's it's um, It's not loud enough unless the opposing team is complaining about it. 
well, then apparently it is perfect volume. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Could you imagine if they like install it somehow? And there's like vents right by the way sideline that play the train horn up. <laughs> <laughs> that would the be little, awesome. The little thing like right there on the bench with the visitor team. <laughs> so, so it's funny though, because you know I live a couple blocks away from the stadium, and I hear a train horn often but also you know we we do live in like there's terminus some, some and there are trains all yeah. over the place but i'm pretty Did sure it. they test it out a lot or they play it <laughs> a lot for various reasons like maybe maybe during practices they're playing they do the train horn just to you know celebrate something or or get our oh yeah i could see people doing that. into like, it but it's just are, crazy how often i hear a train horn and i i play the game is that the stadium or is it a train <laughs> Well, they, they play it whenever in practice there's an interception. So you're just hearing our quarterbacks getting picked off over and over again. Uh, Could you hear Mercedes <laughs> Benz Stadium with the roof open? Oh, that's too far off. That's too far, too far out. Far. I think. You think. I would imagine that you got to be really close with with, with me with the, even with the roof open. Like that sound's going to go true. straight up. You're not going to hear that I'm, very far. I'm, I'm, I'm like it's pretty what, loud. A mile and a half, too. two miles from from that from from Mercedes Benz. So it, it'd be. Pretty sure we it. have we have a class action lawsuit brewing between Georgia State and Mercedes Benz. All the train horns are going to ruin our ears. We won't be able to hear, and it's because of those two stadiums. Well, you know what? If there's one thing that we need to have a class action lawsuit about, it'd be something about our eyes. We need to see the shit product we've been putting on the field. Mm, somebody's somebody's going to get hit by a train, and they're going to be like. Yeah, I heard the horn, but it's just been so normalized <laughs> that I just I didn't. I didn't think that it meant anything. Like I just thought, I just thought we got a first down. Yeah, it's third down, Panthers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like how neither of us were like touchdown. We were like, eh. no, it's third down. Yeah, <laughs> that's that, we hear that more. Yeah, and it's third down. Maybe that is a good idea, though, to to limit the train horn to something like that's that's more exciting, like like a touchdown. No, I think it makes Possibly. sense for the. I think it makes sense for the third down because that's when you want to get the fans up and cheering and be as loud as possible. Is that what a train yeah. horn does for you or for other people? Is like well, yeah, if the fans aren't going to be, if the fans are not going to be loud, have a horn playing. That's fair. Fair so, enough. Fair enough. I rule. Touche. You were uh, Touché. a lot more aggressive about uh, disagreeing with me on the group chat. I, well, I actually never read it. <laughs> you guys were talking about that. I still oh, it was short. It. it was just a couple of lines. But I mean, basically, I, I was just... I, I was saying it was a great... I think it could have been... Maybe it could have been communicated better. It may have still fallen on deaf ears, but I think it could have... There could have been more preparation for it. Like, really, like... We've got Braves organist... I just think, you know, our athletic department gets a lot wrong. And that that was one thing that I thought was a great idea that mm -hmm. just didn't work. And that's going to happen. Cool. Some some ideas are, are going to seem great on paper. And then in implementation, they're just not going to work. And this and is I one of them. I don't think it was something they intended to do long term because. Why do you just hate the athletic department, David? Why, the, why I, you always no, got to just when, hate on them? When the idea was had. <laughs> They reached out and they checked and they found out like the schedule worked with what the 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 end of the Braves schedule and everything. And like the following season, it it would not have worked out. He was already going to be playing Braves games those last uh, those first few games of the season. It just it just sure. happened to be perfect storm where things were going to work together. So they went with it. It didn't work out. Oh well. But it was yeah. a great attempt. I like to see it. It was fun. But yeah. it wasn't a thing. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Looks like we lost in softball attack, apparently. Boo. What's up oh, with softball? Yeah. softball is, why is softball it why is, is that a hot mess? Softball is garbage right now, man. They've won one conference game. They're just horrible. We gotta get uh, Max on the show. <clears throat> Ask her what's up. Tell her she needs to fix it. Oh, she'll <laughs> I'm sure she'll have some very, very uh opinionated positions on the whole thing. We had um they had some game. I know some some games canceled uh, at here in Atlanta. Really? Uh, Harvard was supposed to be down here, and the game got canceled. Harvard's like, "You're too terrible. We're not coming to play." Yeah, so yeah, it's not. We'll just take we'll, we'll take the canceled over a blowout win. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, what else do we have? 
Uh, the only the other only thing I think I have is um, the American Conference named a new commissioner. They lost their commissioner? Carl Benson. <laughs> yeah, no. We're shutting uh, the whole thing down. No, he's Cheryl not. Levick. Cheryl Levick back on the line. Cheryl Levick, Carl. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, sorry. What, what happened with the American? They hired a new guy. So they, they hired a new guy, Tim Pernetti, whatever. I don't give it. I don't know. Sounds like he a is. great guy. Good he's name. Pro- good name. Probably big cock. And uh, you no, know, he sounds like he's doing the same kind of stuff that uh, Coach McGee's doing with us. He's nice. coming in there to try to shake things up. Uh, you know, he's talking about different ways of raising money using private equity within hmm. the within the conference, selling some kind of naming rights. Uh, looking for a conference wide NIL. Um, Those are big ideas. And uh, he uh, a quote Maverick postseason models. And uh, he's he's going to turn the conference into a shark tank. Nothing will be off the table. So he's trying to innovate and come up with some some new things. So I think he got it. Man, at this point, it'd be cool to be in now, that conference. Now he's got to fucking deliver, <laughs> saying all I mean, that shit. As the P fives are you know coming are are on the sinking ship, right? I mean, we all sort of are, right? We 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 can see the upper echelon rising above and leaving us behind. You got to try out some different things and some radical things and uh, just hope that something works. Yeah, I think that, that that could be the strategy of the G5s is to, you know, be the XFL of college football, be the innovators, the ones that do things a little bit differently. The SEC of the 90s. Yeah. I mean, really, like like the one of the things that got me into college Ooh. football was like watching the SEC do crazy shit every year, every every game. They they Faking kickoffs, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? We should give that Tim mm-hmm. guy the idea to do relegation into the Sun Belt and Conference USA. Relegation. <laughs> nice. Hey, Can you dude. imagine how competitive the Nothing's top of off our off the table. Leagues, the top of our leagues would be uber competitive to get into the American. A- oh, no, AAC no, 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 Sun no. Belt Tim, relegation Sun Belt message board. so cool. Tim, you have not been on the Sun Belt message board. I have not, the, no. No one in their right mind that's in the Sun Belt would ever want to go to the American right now. It is a trash conference. Sun Belt is so much better. So says a bunch of people that will never get better than the Sun Belt. Well, so I'm I'm on the side, right? Remember, I mean, we've we've talked about this a lot. Where I I do think the Sun Belt is arguably better, but a relegation between the two, I don't even care which direction it goes would be really awesome for the sport and for both the conferences and would get a lot of extra eyeballs just because it's like a neat thing. And it's like another, it's like a a playoff type situation. It's another thing to pay attention to for those teams to be like, are they going to make into the upper echelon? Are they going to stay in the lower? Are they, well, Well, then it's a cool thing. And who drops goes like more regionally, right? You're definitively, establishing the american as the superior conference well i just said i don't care which way it goes <laughs> so is, we might so. be the superior who knows right like nothing's off the table david some belt could be the upper echelon right but uh, i don't think you're gonna get american to agree to that no but you know what e- even if uh e- even if we decided that at first if uh you know if, if the Sun Belt is truly better then all those teams will just end up being well, the american <laughs> Over the course of like 10, 12 years, like it yeah, just, we'll just we'll one just take by over. one, every American it. team drops down, every Sun Belt team moves up. Hey, if it's true, <laughs> uh, you know what? That's you know what that that is a very very fair way to look at it. All right, just it doesn't matter which which conference is top tier, or which one's not, because if you're really that good of a team, you'll make it into the. It's and it's gonna shake up some other which way, right? I mean, some mixture, but it would just be really cool because like that fans. <laughs> Fans want to be playing for something, yeah. right? Play, play for something, and that's what we yeah. pay attention for. We want a, a championship. We want to go to the playoffs. Then we want to win the playoffs, uh, or, or, or before that, even before go, we want to go to the playoffs. We want a, a home game at the playoffs. We want to buy buy a game at the playoffs. Then we want to win the playoffs. Then we want to win the championship. Relegation is like another cool thing to just like throw in there that you're playing for because you always want to be playing for something. Now, could you do that, but make it for football only? That's good. Yeah, mm. I mean that does kind of screw it up with the with college conferences. All right, right. 
it would have to be though. Different. We, I mean, different maybe it's idea. all one big conference. Uh, like you just merge everybody top down. Like different idea. Then, you take the top four out of those three conferences to create the new conference. The top teams from the Sun Belt, American, that we're all on the same plane. It's your top four to get out. And then everyone else stays in there. And then you have relegation from that point forward. And have it be a, a bowl tie in an American Sun Belt bowl game. And that bowl game, the winner of that bowl game, either. So you take the last place team and the uh, American and your your top Sun Belt team, and they play. And uh, yes. Americans playing to stay in the conference. Can you imagine the the playing eyeballs the on conference. That shit? Who's not, who's, who's, who's listening to this that needs to listen to this? All right. <laughs> Who do I need to write a letter to? ESPN. <laughs> yeah. yeah. ESPN. Apparently I'm writing letters tonight. All right. I mean, chat GPT <laughs> is going to write these letters, but <laughs> use our conference. Idea, Ryan. Use our three conferences. A lot of fun to do that. Let's yeah. take a look at this letter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tell chat GPT to like, listen to this episode and write the letters that have been uh, brought up. <laughs> and it, it just, man, the, the shit that it'll crank out just based on what we talk about. I have you. I've uploaded the transcript to Chat GPT just to get like episode title suggestions and names, whatever. And apparently, we talk about a lot of stuff that's not Georgia State related because almost Wait, okay, what? Yeah, hey, I'll say, give me twenty suggestions for episode titles based off the conversations we've had. Keep it to like three or five words, three to five words, no more. And it's kind of like uh, the battle of which barbecue is the best, and uh, just all, all kinds of just <laughs> non. I'm like uh, relate everything back to Georgia State and. Uh, like, could we make it about athletics? Confused. Apparently, we're very confusing. So, anyway, weird idea I came up with, but I kind of like it. Not the worst idea. I mean, it, it would better, spice it's better than having up. a G five playoff. Absolutely. Just G five playoff. Yes, just G five playoff. playoff. That's what you've been on the Sun Belt message boards for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, most. The the only people that talk about G five playoffs are fans of P five programs or P four programs. Right. There's because there's nobody in the G five that thinks it's a good idea. Nobody in their right mind that thinks it's a good idea. No. I think if you were to do a so with the twelve team playoff starting this year, right? They're, they're going to start doing the, the twelve team playoff this year. The only thing that makes sense if you want to do a an additional playoff round or uh, tournament would be similar to the NIT where it's the next best, the next 12 teams or the, the next eight, the next 16, whatever number that it comes yeah, out to be. Not in tournament, right? Not in tournament <laughs> or national <laughs> invitational tournament. Whatever. Not in, right. Not in uh, tournament, yeah. Whatever it's called. But it's, it's, it's I, what I, you I, said I looked second, at that, but <laughs> I looked at that. If you were to take um, the the top 25 or the from last season uh-huh. and take the the top 12 make it into the playoffs and the next 12 you still wouldn't have a g5 team in there you have american team in there i think but you wouldn't have a uh, sun belt or conference usa or mountain west or anybody so we can't get in is that what you're trying to say we can get in it's just really hard to get in into the into the Guys, well what are we talking about here <laughs> it's you talk, you really hard to stay you, in you talking about the, the actual play playoff or are you talking about this we're gonna see well this actual playoff like if McGee builds this transfer weird team that is really good, and we're it's really the, good. Uh, we beat all these P five teams. The top, I think they changed it now. It was top six. I think with the Pac twelve going away, it's the top five conference champions mm-hmm. make it in. So that means that one G five conference champion will be in every year. But if you've got a you know big 12 down year or something like that and they don't crack the top you know 10 15 then it's possible you could have a Sun Belt champion and an american champion or a mountain west champion that are up in there and you could get two g5 programs in there but realistically you now have one g5 program making it into the playoffs every year so if we're if the if we are the best g5 conference per the Sun Belt fans, then we should right. be automatically getting a Sun Belt team into the playoff every year. Should be. Okay. That's, we'll that's see. What their logic states that. We'll, yeah. we'll see how this plays out this fall. See, last year it didn't work out that well. James Madison doing whatever James Madison was doing. They were they, good. They, 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 lost, they, they lost the conference game, right? They lost to Troy. Uh, I thought they lost to App. 
at beat them. No, in the conference game, the conference championship. Oh yeah, yeah. That was it, Troy. Yeah, Troy. And then yeah, and then they won their bowl game or whatever. They win. I don't can remember. No, they but lost yeah. their bowl game. Yeah. So, but if if they would if they would have beaten Troy to be the conference champion, they Who? probably would have been. Because it, it Liberty Liberty was like the the God. New Year's the, Six game, wasn't the it? The darling. Yes. Yeah. They're amazing. Liberty's gonna be a hard one because you know they being in the, such a soft conference of, as Conference USA, they're going to always win that, and they've got money and all that crap. So they'll, they'll always be up there. We just need one of those conference teams to actually beat them to pull them down a little bit. Yeah. Uh, who who in the conference and who in Conference USA is going to beat them? I don't even know uh, who's in Conference USA. Western Kentucky. Well, are they still the, there? The remnants are Western Kentucky, okay, Middle Tennessee, La Tech, and UTEP. One of, one of those three teams will be. <laughs> it's not going to be Kennesaw Liberty. State. No, and it was no. like Kennesaw State, uh, Jacksonville State, and Sam Houston. And now at Delaware, Delaware is joining like next year or something. Really, Delaware is moving. They're the first team to pay the five million dollars to. Transition from SCS to FPS. That's crazy. They're paying that money. Well, I don't know if they're actually going to pay it. I'm, I'm sure they're going to petition for some waiver. They're going to ask for a waiver. We were already trying to do this, so we should not have to pay. Right? Exactly. That's crazy. Yeah. Ryan is totally checked out. Like we're talking about schedules or something. We're he, well, we are on fringe schedule territory. To him. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> so we got to get off that topic. It's been going for a while too. It is twenty one minutes in. We're fifty minutes. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been a minute. I gotta pee. We can leave. Woo. Wrap it. Wrap it. <laughs> Always wrap it. Wrap it before you tap it. Thanks, Brian, for listening. We'll talk to you <laughs> next to week. Feel good. <laughs> Say goodbye, guys. <laughs> goodbye, guys. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>